Well, Mr. President, it's good to be here with you and your colleagues. Thanks for making the trip to uh, Japan and uh, your, the brave people of Ukraine, led by you and your colleagues here, are just a marvel to the rest of the world. I'm sure everywhere you go, you've gotten that response. It's absolutely astounding. And uh, the brutality with which Putin is conducting this full-blown assault is just — I don't think even three years ago anybody would have thought it could be anything like this. That's why the United States continues to do all we can to strengthen Ukraine's ability to defend itself, including launching some new joint efforts with our partners to train Ukrainian pilots on the fourth-generation fighter aircraft like the F-16. And uh, this week, uh, the G-7 also uh, imposed hundreds of new sanctions and uh, export controls against Russia's assets to ensure that we uh, keep pressure on Putin to hold his backers accountable for this war. These are sanctioning them as well. And today I'm announcing the next tranche of U.S. security assistance to Ukraine, a package that includes more ammunition, artillery, armored vehicles to bolster Ukraine's battlefield abilities. And uh, the United States continues to help Ukraine respond, recover, and rebuild. And we're also supporting your pursuit of a just peace, just uh, one aspect of Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity that has to be non-negotiable. It just has to happen. So, Mr. President, what the people of Ukraine are defending, what you've achieved, is a matter for the entire world to observe. And they're in awe of what you've done so far, really and truly. It's incredible. Together with the entire G7, uh, we have Ukraine's back, and I promise we're not going anywhere. So, thank you for being here. Thank you very much, Mr. President. First of all, thank you for your help, leadership, for your support, and uh, really for this new package. That's great. Thank you very much from all our people. And I'm so happy that, you know, we have so strong relations with our people, that our people during this, all these challenges, they go shoulder to shoulder. I'm very thankful to American people, to to you, your team, Congress, by bipartisan support, and I'm, I'm happy that between our teams there are strong relations with Jake and Andrew and Mr. Blinken, and our, our foreign minister, all of you, big team, and that really help us. Uh, thank you. I remember your last brave historical visit to Kyiv and uh, really our society uh, highly appreciate for this and we spoke about very difficult decisions and you did it with the training mission we are very thankful because I think it will give us more uh, strong positions on the battlefield so we are very thankful that that is a new package. I really didn't know the, the details, but I know that you gave us very big package during this year. It's more than sort of seven billion. My appreciations. We never forget. Thank you. Well, you know, I, uh, some of my staff were saying that uh, we're supposed to be leading, but we seem to be following you. When I was in Kiev and those sirens went off, that there's an air raider walking through. We just kept walking. I thought, well, he doesn't care about the sirens. I don't care about this. <laughs> yeah. so I don't know. I'm a little worried you're going to get in trouble. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate Mr. It. President, President Zelensky, is Bakhmut still in Ukraine's hands? The Russians say they've taken Bakhmut. I think no. But you have to, to understand that there is nothing. They destroyed everything. There are no buildings. It's a pity, it's tragedy, but for, for today, it, Bakhmut is only in our hearts. There is nothing on this place. So, just ground and, and a lot of dead Russians, but they came to us. So, that our defenders in Bakhmut, they, they did strong work. They, and, and of course, we appreciate them for, for their uh, great.